God's wonderful book divide. And I love the old Bible, the precious old Bible, a light on my pathway to shine. And it keeps me... Uh, hi, good day sa mga listeners or mga viewers sa YouTube or sa Facebook. Especially sa mga ako ang mga igsuon diha ni Kristo sa mga born again Christians, Bible believing Christians, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I have another video here na ako ni play, no? And it's about a dialogue between me and and Sok Fernandez, a national advisor of the Catholic Faith of the Philippines. And then he was a former president of the said organization, the Catholic Faith of the Philippines, Catholic Faith Defenders of the Philippines, the I. And then, we were, like, he's good to mga issue, no? We were talking about an issue, again, about Mary. Mary, the mother of Christ, of course, is very biblical, of course, wala man problema. Pero somehow, ang pagtulunan sa Roman Catholic Church na si Mary, gidala nga to sa langit body and soul wa man magtudlo ang catechism of the catholic church nga namatay usa siya unya sa diyang namatay siya gibanhaw siya nga gibanhaw siya unya ako mapagkabanhaw gisa ka sa langit wala man ang giingon lang na man dire paragraph number 966 966 paragraph number 966 I quote ab uh, akong i quote ang Catechism of the Catholic Church Finally the immaculate virgin preserved from free from all stain of original sin when the course of her early life was finished was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory and was exalted by the Lord as queen over all things Huh when the course of her early life was finished oh mama yon na matay ang yon the course of her early life was finished oh mama yon dire she died ang yon dire uh was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory now this is very unusual no kani naasa Paragraph number 966 966 Sa Catechism of the Catholic Church Very unusual Kaya wala mang gawin ka ng uh, There's no Shadow in scripture Ano nga pagtulunan So I asked this to Sok Fernandez Kung unsa yung explanation Ini nga doktrina And I want you to view uh, I want you to listen and watch the video on ya try to make some evaluation no? I list down ang mga verses this is uh, an edited although gikat na ko ni kay taas man siya nga video pero wala na ko na siya gi-edit no? na ko hilabtan ang voicing ang video nga ma misrepresentation no mungkin din siya and I want you to to observe the video and uh, try to study if this teaching is really true because no osbo na ko 500 ah 966 966 finally the immaculate virgin preserved free from all or stain of original sin when the course of her early life was finished was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory and exalted by the lord as queen over all things can ang queen over all things another na sana nga questionably pero kining was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory this is where i make my observation and nga teaching and i was hoping that sok fernandez could clarify things and somehow he did not make any clarification ani murag naglibog panukog maayo Somehow, I find it very unbiblical ang teaching nila. Although I believe that Mary is the Bible, Mary of the Bible is the Mary, the mother of Christ. In his human nature, Mary is his mother, but 
as far as kining gitudlo sa Roman Catholic Church nga wa man sila mo deny in their history no ako i history yeah bali <laughs> dana no history of the church yeah na ako i church history authored by Father John Locks bagabaga nga libro and uh, I, I have uh, come up with that ano yung uh, kuan pero nga kani nga doktrina gi, gi define gi declare ni in, not during the time of the early apostles but in a later centuries ni gi declare kini Mary the mother of God Mary taken up into heaven body and soul wa mga ni mo yung nga giilisan o body wala their teaching never teach that Mary sa diyang namatay siya gibanhaw o yung pagkabanhaw giilisan celestial body wala glorified body wala gihapon wa man mo yung nga ilang teaching so anyway observe the video and tanawa lang make some evaluation kung unsay comment sa National Advisor of the Catholic Faith Defenders of the Philippines Sok Fernandez kining pondo Sok ba um pagtulunan sa katoliko kabahin ni ni uh, issue about sa uh, kang Mary na ay portion sa katikisan ng mga hatag ni mo ang mga libro katikisan mga Catholic Church uh, ni mo dito uh, Mary was taken up bodily bodily and soul to heaven to heavenly glory and was uh, nagi proclaim sa sino was queen of all things no? and then ang ako lang na libgan kay kanang Mary was taken up bodily into heavenly glory na supposedly kini na tong lawas kini na tong lawas is parang na subject to time, space, and matter na ano siya time na mawa or di siya na nasa niya siya dili niya siya above time, space, and matter ba and then kumusaka na siya beyond the limitation sa material being pati si degrade kini kaya nang lawas kay or ba labay ba nito kaya wala may gravity so kung kini nang lawas bodily isaka somehow makontradik sa di sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15 yung gino nito flesh and blood cannot inherit the heaven or the heavenly kingdom or neither corruptible can, uh, can inherit incorruptible so kini kung mamatay ang tao kung manangit mo nga niya ilisan siya o incorruptible bodies, initial bodies. Dili gini, ni, bisan pag word dita sa langit, tingali, probably, kining atong bayanan, ilisan gini siya. Kaya naman sa uh, Corinthians, I think it was Corinthians, kaya atong house is our body. Kaya, nailaing house, kaya hindi mo sa ginoo, I think, uh, naalas Corinthians chapter 5, na nailaing balay, nga gihimo sa kamot, gini si ginoo ato sa langit, nga mo'y ato ang, mo'y ang, gini ato ang, balay rin sa iyo ta, mahanaw man yun. And kung yung mong experience the Bible, that house is our body. Muna nasa, I think, Corinthians chapter 5 ba na siya? So, kung sa mga explanation ano eh, kung si Mary, katubad yung lawas niya ng gibor, gika ni Saint Anne, or pagkamatay niya, giilis niya siya ka yung lawas. Kaya yung mga sa Catechism of the Catholic Church, she was taken up bodily into heavenly glory. So, mga natin yun niya kung pataga, ano, Salamat kayo doon Ray Batikin si mong matulunan noon o may tinga po tanya. Kaya si Diri Maria also was subjected to bodily dormition or death. Kaya siya namatay sa pero matod pa sa panudlo si Mahan na ibangon si Maria na banaw o gipasaka sa langit. O niya Kaya yung naman na itong authority from the Bible na uh, nothing is impossible with God. And dili mahimu sa tao, masayaw na sa Diyos. Kapasama na ito na San Mateo 19, niya 18, nothing is impossible with God. Mahimu sa Diyos. Kanya, kinin sa propesya na sa Salmo 122, Rise, O Lord, and go to thy resting place. Not only the self, but the art of your strength. Just the same when rise and go up. Ay para praise God. Nga sa binisya pa, bangon ginoo, gikan sa imong pahulayanan. Paulit nga to sa imong gikanan. Pudili kay ikaw ra, 
kuniri ang arka sa inyong kalikuran. Now in cross represent kining representation or cross references of the Bible, kada arka kun atong lento sa New Testament na sa gibadayag un si Jesus ni, babay di ay sa kamatahom ng babay nga giporumpurungan sa dusi ka bituon. Nga nakita dito sa langit sa gibadayag un si Jesus ni kama ya gibadayag dusi unong ng dusi. Ya siguro kini mogis Maria isyakte kay ni ngon kini mong babay inahan sa bata nga mamando sa kalibutan sa bara na putra ug kanang bata mo na si Santo Niño Cristo and the mother inevitably is Mary so mo na nga kini mo ni ang theological principle coming or really extracted from the bible regarding Mary's assumption na by the power of God ang iyang lawas ug talaga ipasaka sa langit now here comes the question ya yeah. Pili ba lawas mo ito ni Maria, lawas tao, ikan ni Santa Ana? O niya, subject to somewhat the change and the power of climate surrounding, ya, siya, madunod, ya, dili siya maka-exist nga ito sa dapit nga super o supra-terrestrial. Now, the, the answer is very simple in the theology. Nangingon nga, gracia non destruit natura, si terpichit iyang. Nabot sa buta na nga, ang gracias ginoo ng mihari ni Maria, di lang di mo destroy, di lang makamawag tang si Kinaia, kung di lang mo hingpit ginoo. Mala nga, nalipay ko sa imong pag-disgut, uh, Don Ray, sa 1 Corinto 15, um, 50, nga gingon nga, walay unod o bukog dugo nga makapanunod sa gingarian sa Diyos. Bisan ang pagkamadunoton, di lang makapanunod sa pagkadili madunoton. Dawa ko ning gitan ang mga cross references kini unod kini pagkalibutanon uh, ang actual focus on reference on days mao ang kalibutanon o masalanon nga kinaiya sa tao kay kini atong masalanon nga kinaiya sa tao dili ni takos makasuod sa langit mo ning lang unod nun nga tao ug mabasa sa nanato sa Colossians kapitulo 3 Onya verse 15 unto pangahan nagisgot sa mga unod-unod mahilayon masalanon nga kinaiya sa tao Galacia 5:19 unto 20 mo nang unod the flesh Pero by reference and example kanto si Inok na sa Genesis 5:24 usa ka tao nga buutan og bago gisakgaw sa gahom sa Ginoo gipasakas kay tasa So wa mo agik kamatayo gidani ay ang lawas Nya kato sa si Elias, mabasa sa dos ari dos, dosing atos katosi. Nga kuyog si Elias yang higala si Eliseo, naglakaw sila, gikunsaran si Elias usa ka karawahi, nga gikuyog sa kabayo ang dunay pako, misakay siya og ang karawahi, milupan nga tos kay tasa. So, meaning, he goes up and united with God in different way and manner, pero just the same, he was carrying with his own physical body. So, mga total, how does God do this? ka ang usa ka lawas nga kalibutanon makaambit sa kinabuhi o espiritu hanon nga kahimpitan ni Dios lang. Mabasa ni nato sa 1 Corinto 15:44. Kun may lawas nga langit kun o mga lawas nga yutanon. Apan ang himaya sa mga langit no usa o ang himaya sa yutanon lain. 44. Gipugas nga lawas sa kinaiya gibanhaw sa lawas ni espiritu hanon. Kun may lawas nga kinaiya may lawas sa mga espiritu hanon. Apa nang Espiritu Hano? Hmm? Dili mo ngayon lang. Kung dili, ang ngayon na mong lawas na. Hmm. Umani ini ang Espiritu Hano ang lawas. So, doon na di ang isgutan nga spiritual body. It is a body, but it becomes spiritual. What does it mean? Na ang iyang faculties governed by supernatural power of God. Mo nang di na na madunod, yeah, di na na mamatay, di na na matiguan, o mo nang lawas ngayon lang Espiritu Hano. Na isunog sa ginoo, Yan itong iyang ipambig siya ni Maya pagpasaka na ito sa langit. Sama ni Maria, sama ni Elias, sama ni Inok. Kung lang yung mong pautan na nga katong lawasan ni Maria, mawag itong lawasan ng gika ni Santa Ana. Hindi. Kapag gisopra natura sa ginoo. Above nature, sopra natura sa Latin ba. Nga kinisya tungkol sa gahom sa Diyos. Muna nga, mahimu pa sa ginoo mahimu. Muna yung muna po, Gracia non istuit, sed per picit 
natura. The, the, the grace doesn't, doesn't destroy the nature but perfects it. No na ang gahong si Ginoo, alang niya itong lawas nga, di padahas si Ginoo ito sa langit. Lawas ka lang, di padahas ka, piyak ang mali. Niya, based upon the Bible, as I stated, nga na itagna, sin 2.22.8 sa Salmos. Motong ato'y kapambitubag sa nindot ka pangutana sa itong pinagang gala ng grave batikin. Balik pa sa mga tayo. Okay, ya, yeah, murag na dugay kung reply at itong aning uh, video. Da. But I hope you were able to take notes sa mga verse nga gihisgutan ni Sok Fernandez about sa maong isyu, no? I have come up with some verses here nga iyahang gihisgutan. And I am very much surprised kay ni quote siya number one katong naingon siya nothing is impossible with God unya kikos niya ang Matthew Matthew chapter number 19 verse number 21 pero mahibong ko kaya wala man sa 1921 ang verse nga nothing is impossible with God ang verse uh, nothing is impossible with God nasa Matthew chapter 19 verse number 26 <laughs> yeah Matthew 19 26 yan but Jesus beheld them and said unto them with men this is impossible but with God all things are possible so, maunay context sa uh, maunga verse, no? It does not speak about about Mary. Wala man yung maghisgot bahay ni Mary ang Matthew chapter 19 verse 20 hangtod yun sa verse 26. In fact, kung imong lawson yun, Matthew chapter 19 verse 20 hangtod yun sa verse 30. Wala man yung maghisgot ni Mary, the mother of Christ. This is out of context. Kining gingon sa Matthew 20 verse ah, 19 verse 26. Now, Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. This is not referring to Mary nga gisaka nga to sa langit. But rather, it refers to verse 25. Matthew 19:25. Unsa may nasa Matthew 19:25? Ang ngayon sa verse 25 nga, when, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? Ang pasabot dere context is the salvation. Kinsa may maluwas. Kaya ngayon ni Kristo, sa verse 21 nga, kinanglan juga kang mag-perfect. Verse 21. In the verse 21, If thou wilt be perfect, perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. This would, no? In fact, sa verse 18 hanggang sa verse 19 nagis ko si Christ sa mga napo asugo, no? In fact, sa mga t- basic sa commandments and then di pa na, di pa magiging up kinanglan pa dyan, be perfect sell what thou have, yeah, give to the poor and follow me. Well, as a verse 25, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, seeing who then can be saved. Well, as a verse Christ, Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With man, it, it, this is impossible. This is impossible. If you are going to be a son of God, you will not be able to die, you will not be able to die. With men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So, it speaks about salvation. Nga iya rin sa ginoo. Wala man yung maghisgot sa gisgutan na to. Before, ano nga video, nga Mary was Mary was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory. Out of context ni. No? So, Fernandez quoted an out of context nga verse. Now, number two, nga iyang gikot, no? Number two, nag quote ni, ni Sok Fernandez, kiling na sa Psalms. Ako nga, ablihan sa akong Bible din, no? Sa Psalms, chapter 132. 
132 verse number 8 Lagi matod pa ni Sok Fernandez Arise, O Lord, into thy rest Thou and the ark of thy strength Arise, O Lord, into thy strength Into thy rest Arise, O Lord, into thy rest Thou and the ark of thy strength Nabot, asabot daw Nga kiniko nung O Lord This is Christ O niya A kiniko nung Into thy strength Maoko na ni ang resurrection ni Christ Thou and the ark of thy strength Maoko na ni ang pagsaka ni Kristo Nga sa langit Kung yung mong basahan ang Psalms Chapter 132 verse 1 Hangto sa verse 8 Hangto dyan sa verse 18 Kung ama na maghiskot ba ni Mary? It does not speak about Mary as the mother of Christ na gisaka nga sa langit. Kini, the ark of thy strength, wala man na maghiskot ni Mary. No? In fact, the same chapter, okay, Psalms 132, mani verse 8, the same chapter, verse number 13, tanaw sa verse 13, For thou, Lord, Hath chosen Zion. He hath desired. He had ah for the Lord hath chosen Zion. He hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest. Mm, forever. Here will I dwell. And I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provisions. Her provisions. Kinsa man yung her? Zion. Zion. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Kinsa man na? Zion. I will also clothe her. Kinsa man? Verse 13. Zion. Her saints. And her saints shall shout aloud for joy. Kining gipasabot dere. This is Zion. Verse 18 uh, Verse 18 His enemies Will I Clutch with shame Clothed with shame Upon himself Shall his crown flourish Wala man yung maghisigot ni Mary Maumang tayo issue at hand That Mary was taken up Body and soul Into heavenly glory No? And if you've listened to the video Si Sok Fernandez, matod pa namatay ko na si Mary. Pero sa Catholic teaching, wala pa magtudlo ang Catholic Church na namatay si Mary. With all due respect sa ato amigo si Sok Fernandez, I do not know. No? I could be wrong. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a member of the Roman Catholic Church. But I have read their literature and they never said nga Mary died. Mary died and was resurrected and was given a new body a glorified body and then was taken up wala man wala wala man yun ang teaching sa Roman Catholic Church anak no? so again Psalms 132 verse 8 wala na siya maghisigot ni Mary na nisaka sa langit no Ark of the Strength read verse 8 13 14, 15 hangtod sa verse 18 masabtan mo kung unsa ng arise O Lord into thy strength thou and the ark of thy strength it does not speak of Mary no ark of thy strength dili iyahang ark but the ark of thy strength is not the ark of the Lord no? sayo panto si Sok Fernandez it na nga Bangun ginoo ang imong arka. Sayo man, dili man uh, the ark of the Lord, but the ark of thy strength. Ang nasa verse 8. So sayo, another mistake na sa no, ang gibuhat sa atong amigo nga si Sok Fernandez. And then again, di na to malintan, the issue was Mary taken up into heaven or heavenly glory. Body and soul. That is the issue at hand. And then she far up. Ah, uh, 
ni Sok Fernandez, ayun siya, atong ma parallel verse sa Revelation chapter 19 ano, chapter 11 verse 19, matod pa niya chapter 11 verse 19 now, kanin chapter 11 verse number 19, wala man yung maghisgot about <laughs> ni Mary chapter 11 verse 19 tanawa ang verse na yung andre and the temple of God was opened in heaven Okay? Temple of God was opened in heaven. And there was a great... Uh, and there was seen in the temple the ark of His testament. Okay? Ang templo sa langit na open. Nakita sa temple the ark of His testament. Okay? And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and earth and an earthquake and great hail no how my mary any as ah, the mary any taken up into heavenly glory body and soul revelation chapter 11 verse 19 what more is called an in mary no I see no issue about this in Mary. Now, another thing is, matod pa niya, Revelation chapter 11 verse 19, on niya, Revelation chapter 12 verse 1 to 3. Kini, one, kini Revelation chapter 12, na ay ginay women, re woman, but this this verse, the quote is a dispute, kung unsa din siya no grabe ni siya dispute now and there appear a great wonder in heaven and a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon his head a crown of of 12 stars now si Mary na kanus aman sa bible si Mary na crown of 12 stars kinang na verse there brad wak man may ngundi na si Mary na wak man nakturo na lang na to nakturo na lang na to so verse number 2 and she bring with and she being with child cried travailing in birth and in pain to be delivered now I thought na si Mary miraculous miraculous ang pag-birth ni Mary nga naman yung verse 2 Revelation chapter 12 verse 2 and she being with child cried travailing and pain to be delivered nung nagsakit man naging ipapanganak pwerte man naging hilak man ipapanganak yung yun, virgin birth miraculous virgin birth virgin birth Holy Spirit may nagpapanganak mo na nga si Mary wala gyud mawa ang iyang virginity she remain perpetual virgin even until now nga nga naman yung verse 2 pagpanganak pwerte mo naging syagit pwerte mo naging antos so dili ni si Mary dili ni si Mary this is another woman This is, again, ato na lang nakturon sa Isaiah 66, verse number 7, verse number 6. Hangtod gyan sa context na na-infact na na to. This is Zion. Isaiah 66. Sa Isaiah 66, verse number 7, matod pa tira eh. Before she travailed, she brought forth before her pain came she was delivered of a man child and I was on verse number 8 oh, for as soon as Zion travailed she brought forth her children children this is Zion this is this is referring to Zion wala na magiging kati Maria kasi Maria kamo na ang mga Roman Catholic they teach That the the virgin or the the birth of Christ was a miraculous birth. It was a virgin birth. Wala na problema ako. I believe in the virgin birth. 
Pero I do not put it to the extreme like the Roman Catholic did na until now Mary is virgin. Well anyway, dili na nakotas o no? Dagan siya mga gipang quote niya verse. No? I-quote niya ang, ang, ang anadri akong gilista. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 50 O niya, gikot pa yun niya Si ang, ang 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 40 to 44 It does not speak about Mary again Now, karon gi-example niya, biblical ko nun ng Musa kabadil into heaven like Enoch and Elisha Enoch and Elisha doon ay mabasa sa Bible but Mary, wala we Mga born again Christians, we do not deny nga musaka sa langit. We believe in a rapture. No, we do not deny that. But what we are denying is the phenomenon that happened to Mary. Na abay verse unto sa Bible nga si Mary was taken up and body and soul into heaven. Because you find in the Bible Mary, last mention sa Acts chapter 2. After sa Acts chapter 2, what na may mention ni Mary? So there's the big question there. So anyway, uh, I do not have enough time no, to tackle everything what so Fernandez uh, said. Just just note down the verse. Do not be offended sa iyong mga argument, you know. And evaluate, examine the verses na yung quote kung nahaong ba sa question. The question was, the teaching of the Catholic Church that Mary was uh, bodily or, or taken up into heavenly glory, body and soul. That was the issue at hand. Always bear in mind while examining the verse ng ipanggamit ni Soch Fernandez. Mary was taken up into heavenly glory, body and soul. Now we do not deny uh, there will be a resurrection of course. Enoch, we do not deny that na aman sa Bible, of course Elisha, naa sa Bible Mary kung naa sa Bible, then we will not deny, but the problem was, wa magbut sa Bible asa man sa Bible e kung naa pa sa Bible amotota, why not no, evaluate, no thank you sa papaminaw and God bless sa inyohang pagsunod sa video, thank you Almighty fortresses are gone.